Okay. I want to get <coughs> as many um, different possible answers from Speed Solving Forum, YouTube, and Facebook. Now, this puzzle I made a while ago, about maybe two or three months ago, and then, like about a month ago, I stickered it, and I ended up stickering the cutted pieces like this because I just wanted to do it as like demonstration before nationals and yeah so this is how I did it but if I were to make a version 2 I would use a better cube than what I used I used a dollar store cube which I lube with silicone CRC and sometimes when I get a dollar store cube and I spray silicone in it like CRC I spray some and then work it in and spray some more in work it in spray some more in and then basically what that does loosens it up but sometimes if I spray too much it loosens it up so much that it's so good that it pops a lot yeah and this pops a lot and if I did version number two I would use a um, Rubik's spray in that I that I can make better by modding it, working it in, looping it, or something like a Type A one. And yeah, and so basically, I need a name for it. I would say I call it UFO because one, it kind of has this UFO -y look to it. And I know there's already been a U Rubik's UFO, like an actual UFO looking puzzle made by Rubik's. And I know there was the UFO octahedron that was made by QJ. But this is kind of a weird puzzle. But if I did version 2, I would round out this part. So if you look at it from this angle, it looks like it's a complete circle. Yeah. And so, what should I name it? Should I name it UFO? Or... Like UFO 3x3 three three or something like that. And yeah. It actually is a pretty decent mod. Basically, if I were to make version 2, I would do a tutorial on how to make it. But if you do not, if you just want to make it now, and I would just show you. Basically what I did was I took... Um, like cut along right here, along the corners down here, on all around here, and then since what I saw, I cut straight down through there, straight down through there, straight down through there, and then flipped over to the opposite corner, did the same thing. Yeah. And that's how I made it. Yeah, it's pretty simple, easy to make. Um, it will probably take you maybe about an hour or so, depending on what you use. If you use the saw, it will take you like maybe f 15 minutes to do the cutting part, and then like the rest 45 minutes just to put in the filler and sanding it down so it's smooth. And I was just wondering, what should I name this puzzle? Yep. 
Yeah, it looks kind of awesome.